Do you ever struggle with creative anxiety? I'm going to give you some real tips today on how to begin to overcome that today here on 5-Minute Mentoring. Hey, my friend. So glad you're here with me on another episode of 5-Minute Mentoring. If you've been a creative for very long, you have no doubt dealt with this whole idea of creative anxiety, being in the studio and and wanting to create, but feeling this kind of intense, oh, I'm not sure if I can do this, or feel, feeling paralyzed or overwhelmed and just not able to get into the flow of creating. That can be a really, really frustrating place, especially for somebody like us that feels called by God to, to create. You know, one of the things that I've learned uh, in my life in dealing with anxiety myself and having family members and friends and, and uh, you know, people that I've mentored over the years that, that really deal with anxiety is that anxiety typically creates a picture inside of your mind of a false reality. It creates this reality that says you can't do this, you're not good enough. It also creates this barrage of what ifs in your mind. What if this happens? Well, what if you're not able to do that? Well, what if they find out you're not as good as you're all this imposter syndrome starts to come in and it, it just fuels this inner narrative that rarely has anything to do with your actual reality about your actual art skills or your actual connection with God or the actual person that you are, or what you can do and what you believe about yourself. It just, it just creates this barrage of, of overwhelming frustration in your life. And usually What happens is that if you stay in that anxious state and nurture that for long enough, you get absolutely paralyzed and it becomes this sort of downward spiral that you feel like you can't get out of. How do you know that, Matt? Listen, (laughs) like I said, I've dealt with that a lot in my life. Um, And one of the things that I've learned is that if you're going to get out of anxiety and move through anxious situations, whether it be in the studio or whether it be in, in any situation in life, in life uh, at some point, you've got to learn how to pull the escape hatch. And for me, one of the escape mechanisms that I've learned uh, in my life to deal with anxiety, especially in the studio, is, is just responding in faith, taking action, doing something. You know, the enemy is always wanting to come in you at, at you with lies of you're not enough, you can't do this or whatever. I learned a long time ago, you know, that if you're going to combat the enemy, you always want to come in the opposite spirit of what he's bringing. And if so, if he's bringing fear, guess what I'm going to bring? I'm going to respond not with like, but I'm going to respond in faith. And you know, for you, if you're in a place of creative anxiety and you're just like, I just can't get, you know, into the studio or whatever. Listen, if it is nothing but picking up a paintbrush and doodling, if it's just going in and starting to clean your studio a little bit, if it's just, you know, gessoing a canvas or for me, like organizing my materials or Um, maybe I'm doing something that's related to my creative, creative activity, like, you know, creating a cradled panel as opposed to actually starting a a painting or whatever, anything, anything that you can do to pull the escape hatch on those anxious feelings and on that spiraling barrage of fear, um, it will absolutely begin to give you a pathway out of that. And, you know, when you combine that with the, you know, the truth of God's word and you just begin to say, Lord, I'm feeling this right now. I give this anxiety to you right now and I'm coming out of agreement with it. And I'm coming into agreement with your truth that says you, you say I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so, Lord, would you strengthen me right now to make a decision uh, to do X, Y, Z, you know, whatever that is, and then move toward that. The more you do that, the more you're going to be able to work this muscle inside of you, this beautiful brain that God's given you uh, in order to be able to come into alignment with who God says you is, is, (laughs) who he says you are, and not allow uh, the the ploy of the enemy to bring anxiety and fear and overwhelm uh, to, to shut you down. You can absolutely overcome creative anxiety one decision at a time. Get in God's presence, agree with his word, pull the escape hatch, make a little action toward 
uh, in, in the opposite spirit of moving away from that fear and toward faith in the thing that God has for you. And you can absolutely retrain yourself uh, to, to begin to overcome anxiety uh, in the studio and wherever that may be in your life. My friend, I love you so much. Um, listen, there is hope on the end of creative, on the other side of creative anxiety. And I believe that as you start walking in some of these tips today, you're going to begin to see that in your own life. All right. Love you so much. I'll see you next time. And remember, until then, you were created to thrive. Bye.